Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2, A War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're hopefully finishing our Saving Your Disaster campaign, the Dark Event Massacre. It is time for Waterworld, so this will be the first half of a two-parter and it is hopefully going to be a banger. It is an ABA uh, version. We brought our prime team here, the Hype, our Sniper. We got Love Flame. I think it is Le Flame by uh, by the way, but uh, okay, I don't want to be uh, that type of guy. We got Fake Hogbite, who is showing us the commander himself, Mirror as a specialist, and as a Grandeer we got Knockout with, holy shit, 5 armor, that's a lot. Thanks to uh, ABA, they buff uh, the uh, vest and make it even stronger, and the suit apparently seems to have been buffed as well. And finally, Knuckles, who is going to be our ranger. So that's going to be the well-versed team, one of the standard teams that I would love uh, to take into missions. So let's directly get on with it. Commander will be more or less our scouting tool. The name of the game for the beginning will be to use as a little of um, actual consumables as humanly possible and instead just work with cooldowns whenever possible. Position confirmed. Good, we got knockout over here, oh, moving God. over there and fake hogbite, last but most certainly not least. Good, Scanning. good old overwatch with the exception, of course, of Knockout, who's hunkering down. Okay, cool. So, ABA on the last map in my previous run. It didn't work out because the last map simply didn't want to load, which means it's the first time that I'm playing Waterworld with ABA. And I can only imagine that we're going to run into quite a few primes. Now, since our Ranger does have concealment, might as well use that to our advantage. What are we seeing? Mutant and an Archon Sentinel. Okay, cool. Like what I'm seeing. Well, so much for not triggering. Overwatch is already being triggered. Might as well just remove the overwatch and deal damage to every single one of them. The rift of the commander is just obnoxiously large. So what are we dealing with? Uh, two shots, two potential shots. Okay, cool. The Might as well use our grappling hook. Got the high ground up here, 70%, 70%, okay, cool. I like what I'm seeing, we got death from above, so we don't need cereal. And you know what? 85% with a stabilized weapon shot. That should be a kill. Down. There we go, nice. Death from above uh, triggered right away. And somehow there is a bit of latency here. I don't know why that is, but it is noticeable. Good. Two down. Quite a few more to go. Moving up, uh, we got a stasis in case, uh, for whatever reason, we're not able to finish uh, this guy. Interestingly enough, we're not right, close enough to actually take shots from here. All right, too bad. Let's use rapid fire, not optimal. But I don't want to get any closer. Oh, wait. I don't want to use concealment to begin with. 
scratch the rapid fire thing. Instead, let's move up. We're potentially not going to be able to finish him this turn. I don't want to trigger another pack, which is why you're seeing me just taking kind of mild shots. Overwatch here. Plenty of Overwatch and we're just going to use Stasis. Archon Sentinel has no chance against Stasis, we're just letting him sit there and eventually it's going to explode. Cool. Hunkering down and uh, that was a solid turn. Chosen Rifle certainly already delivered with that death from above. Oh boy, ABA slows down uh, the process quite a bit. I'm not 100% sure why the codex is, uh, why the encoder is failing so hard, but it must have to do with ABA. So if we look at mind control, might as well take this guy here as our slave to scout out even a bit more. Wow, lots of frame drops. Well, let's hope it gets better as soon as we have cleared up the map a bit more. All right, Sentinel is out of action, so that's fine. We don't need to trigger additional packs for now. We're just moving up. Still got our concealment here. Oh, there is a sector, uh, a gatekeeper prime. Good. We don't want to trigger that yet, but we definitely want to have that extra focus. Good. Knockout takes a solid position in cover over here. Everybody else is moving closer, if need be, into full cover. Yeah, let's put up a nice little fire line here. Double time. Having a uh, psi operative in the middle of all of them also provides everybody else with an aura. Yeah, we don't want to spray our own mind-controlled being. Let's just hunker down for now. And we're overwatching. If they move, they should trigger. Since we have long watch going for us. Hmm, okay, so let me think. Yeah, we don't want to cluster up too much because uh, that only motivates the gatekeeper to actually use um, use his AOE abilities. So we don't want that to happen. Is Stasis theoretically ready? One more turn. Almost inclined to use that extra turn. And wait until the Stasis cooldown is happening. Gatekeeper Prime is no joke. And I would rather be careful not to run into it. Specifically if we don't want any, um, any of our consumables to be 
to be used. Sure, with consumables you can do it, but we need them for the last fight. Come on, guys, I know you want to move. They do not do it. Wow. Good. Moving over here. Into the open. What a big fat pack. Okay, wow, good. Well. Well. Well, well, well. How can we get rid of the cover in a nice way? Want to get rid of most of the cover. Unfortunately, Dimensional Rift is not available. Let's think, Saigon. Let's think. We'll move over here. Null lens, try to null lens, could move, definitely move over here. And then null lens, but we would be staying in the open. Not a smart move. Use as an option. But unfortunately, these guys haven't positioned themselves near a fusible spot. I mean, look, we could, theoretically speaking, yeah, use one of the plasma grenades here and teach them a good lesson. On the other hand, do we really need to do that, question mark, because we're not standing in the open or anything. We could, theoretically speaking, deal with that um, Andromedon without even removing the cover. Hmm. All right, less thinking, more action. we could do is we could try I'm just trying to see how we can get rid of the gatekeeper good once they are softened up we can hit them and move out but we need to soften the, uh, the Andromedon up Problem is all of this here is blocking line of sight. You know what? I am going to use at least some of uh, the consumables here. Is, so, is it optimal? No. Will it be the end of the world? Also no. We got Salvo, right? I did not mess that up. Yes, right, we got Salvo. Okay, cool. All right, marking this guy. Would have been great to shred him as well, but that unfortunately didn't work out.
for far with our null lens uh, reach just barely hitting him i think we can could do better but i equally think we might want to just spread out a bit more okay that works well can't really hit more than one uh, from this position good decent damage nothing spectacular but decent losing concealment that's fine we got another potential scout so that's okay let's get ready uh, let's get rid of uh, the andromedon Implacable to move back into cover. We are untouchable, by the way, so that's great. Good, let's focus this guy down. Good. The Andromedon is almost down, which means we can kill it and gain our third uh, focus point. Great. We could even parry here in the open with Fake Hogbite, but there are still theoretically two enemies to go. So I don't think that that would be a great idea. Of course, we could uh, inspire him and keep going but that could tri again trigger more enemies isn't there a single location where I can see that eyeball. Unbelievable. It's potentially a pretty decent shot to kill the Andromeda or to injure the Andromedon if possible. Let's see if this here is going to give us line of sight on one of the targets. Nope, unfortunately not. We could still overwatch if we so desire. That means if the eyeball moves in, we could shoot. But the problem is it, it would give it an action. Moving up. Uh, the, the Gatekeeper Prime is a great target for, for an Overwatch. The main problem that I'm seeing with it is it would uh, get all of the action. So we're just going to stand over here and I know how to deal with the situation. A little bit slower turn this time, but I want to make sure that we stay true to the idea of not using consumables, or at least not lots of consumables. We already used one consumable here. Alright, that takes care of the gatekeeper. And that also allows us to overwatch. Overwatch triggers. Unfortunately, our overwatch is plentiful bad, as always. Good. 
got one more round of mind control and I think that afterwards we would be gone. So gotta make use of it. First things first. We can only see a few. That is, again, unfortunate. Good old rupture onto that um, onto that gatekeeper would have been a fantastic option. We could use better strike in order to just go here and then essentially um, hit that gatekeeper prime, but I think we're going to be fine irregardless. Instead, let's just rupture this guy. Hmm. That is unfortunate. Oh, what? 81% domination? Hmm. Game, please do not tempt me. It would make our first portion of uh, the map so much easier, but I think we're not allowed to take it into the second one. Uh, War of the Chosen changed that. Oh boy. Together we are strong. Good, we're inspiring. You might wonder why that is. I can tell you from a pure damage perspective. Shredding the Andromedon. And just removing all of its armor is far superior to whatever else he could have done. Okay, how can we soften it? even further i think what we could do is we could go like this i like the idea of hitting the andromedon Equally like the idea of having fake hawk bite not being shot at all. So here we go with an 8 protocol. Got some threat assessment on top of it. Hitting almost killing the Andromedon. Oh, I got a free uh, hair trigger out of it. Not too bad. Good. This should kill the Andromedon. And we're moving nicely into full cover. Seven to eight, six to nine. I think we're just going to take a shot. Nice, fantastic crit. I like it. Rock and roll. Just out of curiosity, that should be a kill, right? 8 to 11, 1, 2, 4, 6, 8. Nope. That is incorrect, Saiken. I want to save Fenfire for the um, for the gatekeeper. But this here could be a start. Gatekeeper takes some solid damage, that's good. And 
Misses. Let's continue to intro the gatekeeper. <laughs> and it continues to miss. Ooh, someone is salty. I like it. As the gatekeeper is they are difficult to hit i was thinking to run gun up just shotgun to the face and move away but it's not as easy as it might seem problem with moving over here is we could theoretically trigger another pack. Hmm. That's three actions that he would be getting. Gotta soften it up further. Hmm. Somewhat blocked myself from really good cover with with that void rift here. We could of course use capacitate the discharger, but the idea was not to use any of those items. Common protocol is a no-no as well. I mean, up here isn't bad. I think it's out of uh, reach. If things go wrong, we can still, I think, still Icarus jump back. Alright, so that's the only sp uh, spot that you could theoretically find in order to pull this off. If we go invisible, that's not going to be more damage, right? No. But there is a decent chance that we're critting, and if we're critting, we're going to injure it quite badly so let's give it a try okay never mind 94 percent shot solidly missed Scanning. yeah i don't want to fanfire it's just going to backfire on us we're going to long watch instead he will likely go for that extra shot. Yeah. And eventually take some damage now. Hit the armor. I'm okay. 
All right. Well. Things haven't really worked out that well, but I think overall it was okay. We took some damage. I could have played that much cleaner, but my refusal of using any form of uh, consumables short of that grenade led to that one small damage. Hmm. Okay. Can't immediately kill it. What are we talking about? Two, four, six, eight, nine. I think this should kill it. Let's just get back into cover. There is no escape. And that should be a kill. Okay, wow, hmm. Well, not the cleanest overall. We got plenty of healing, so Knuckles can be topped off. That's not the problem. Stepping off. Moving up. The commander is going to be the one that is scouting for us. Good, but we got this um, a Gatekeeper Prime down with almost no damage. Good, the commander moves up. That seemed to have triggered something. Battle Frenzy. That's how I like it. Good, we're grabbing a nice little Valkyrie back there. Oh, wow, okay, and we just triggered everyone literally everyone question is we potentially will be able to even kill some of them just need to get rid of the wall here We can certainly kill a few of these guys. To there, to there. Okay, so if we were to move to here. Like literally over here. We wouldn't be able to see anyone. Well, in that case, let's go over here. Long range. Oh boy. That's really asking for a lot. That's a long shot. But then again, they really cannot do much because they can't really reach us. If we were to launch a flashbang and would be able to hit all of them, that would be potentially the most beneficial flashbang ever. All right, moving to here. We need you next turn. 
Hogbite moves into full cover. Thirty-four percent. You know, there's a very low chance that we're actually going to hit these guys. But if we would hit them, they would immediately die. So, yeah, that worked out well. One down. Quite a few more to go. The flame moves up. And we're hunkering down for now. Overwatch. Okay, we still got our living mimic beacon here. And they will take some damage. It's nice of the enemy to cluster up. That's exactly what I was hoping for. Oh yeah, please, Psyonic bomb your own uh, group. That is great. Weapon disabled. Okay, okay. We got a tank at our hands here, guys. That's working better than I would have expected. Okay, let's trigger the overwatches. That's a solid miss. And the second one wasn't even triggered. Okay, cool. Well, normal Archon, here we go. Hit. Heal. Our tank is full again. <laughs> Jolly good fun. I love it. Good, we're moving a bit closer, but not so much so that we're in any real danger. This here could be an instant kill, or just some good damage. Moving. Moving up. Bit of lightning hands just some extra damage we're going to soften them up and now let's get into position shall we aggressive sniper advance check codex kill Check. Enemy eliminated. We're green to go. Free reload. Check. Can't really hit these guys from afar. Alright, in which case we're going to use the Vault, not the best ability, but still respectable damage if you consider that he's a melee character. So we're looking at what, two, four, six, eight points of damage, still not good enough. All right, I'll go. Moving into full cover. Maybe I'm just overwatching.
Taking the high ground here, since we can't really reach anyone in melee. And we also want to spread out. Is it clear? Moving up. And let's just layer another layer on top of the already existing layer. AoE damage onto AoE damage. Yep, and now we have the rider effects. Ah, too bad. That could have been a mind control. And that could have been another mind control. Well, still okay. I like it. Another Archon needs to die. Hmm. What's wrong with our 90 plus percent shots missing? I mean, something is off, right? Good. We're going to full reload. And let's kill that Archon. There you go. I think we're just going to Overwatch. Or even better, a protocol so that our Sniper is in more than full cover plus gets an Overwatch shot. Archon Valkyrie, we can certainly ta uh, try our luck. That was very successful. And if that guy continues to stay here, boy oh boy, they will take extra damage. Well, they already took extra damage. There is uh, the reaction shot and Icarus Armor immediately leads into panic. Come on, another... I was about to say another psionic bomb, but uh, his cooldown was running. That's the clone of the other guy that we just killed. So potentially the third one will do a psionic bomb. Well, potentially not. Who knows? I am realizing just how incredibly tanky these Valkyries are. And what we're going to do with them. Moving in and tanking. There you go. Even if that replicates, not a problem. 8.8 .8 hit points of fresh vigor restored. Sniper nicely positions themselves for death from above. Lovely. Hogbite sets up the kill. Doesn't fully get it. But gets that extra focus. And now does have... Um, Let's storm. Okay. So how about ripping all of this here apart? Wow. 
The commander is super strong. I mean, just look at the amount of damage it uh, does. That is respectable. Specifically, the rift is completely overtuned. I mean, I'm not going to complain, but it is overtuned. There is, there are no two ways about it. Set him up, knock him down. Getting it done. Moving up, and rapid fire might do the trick. Oh yeah. Kill confirmed. Rapid uh, fire most certainly does the trick. We're going to go a tiny bit back. <sighs> okay, so would that still... Yeah, that would still allow us to see the codex. Okay. Let's move over and inspire. That's why Psy Operators are so good, right? They can essentially power up whomever you want, just like the Skirmisher. Um, but in contrast to the Skirmisher, they don't need to sacrifice their remaining usefulness just for that one ability. All right. Moving up. And I think that engagement went much smoother than the first one. To be fair, the Gatekeeper Prime is a force to be reckoned with. And specifically, if you don't want to use any consumables, it's actually quite difficult. Ooh, they are fearsome opponents for pure melee, uh, melee forces. Matter of fact, I would be interested to see if they are counterattacking. Potentially won't be able to do that. Life drain attack can't really reach him. But overall, I would still have been interested to see whether or not it would have worked. Dead eyeing that thing. No good. Let's pick up the remaining focus and position ourselves completely out of line of sight i think it's a great option for a reload full cover knuckles moves out of the way like to have some more full cover the problem is this here is almost too exposed let's move to here because we can shoot the null lens through the wall if we so desire to do it And the commander. Hmm. Let's position him a bit further to the front line. He regenerates, so he could take a hit or two if needed. Overwatching here. I should have reloaded uh, with the shotgun. Alright, we're potentially going to see this guy getting absolutely shredded. Yep. Oh, 
That's okay. We are regenerating that. Commander's already back to full hit points. Moving into full cover. Not lancing that guy. Oh, wow. Yep, that hurt. And we're going to get better angles. We got the grappling hook for next turn. And this here is just to essentially kill the guy. No longer a threat. Got hair trigger, which is nice. Good to see. I hope it's worth it. Got it covered. Overwatching. Overwatch. Overwatching. Yeah, I don't want to charge too far. This here would essentially make him liable. This this here could work unless the AI spots it out. And the Templar is not the best character class against t um, mutants. So we're just going to leave it as is. Reload. And Knuckles is going to use the time to just reload the shotgun. All right, there we go. Nice little long watch. That's a good hit, but that's the Prime. So Prime will get some extra inhuman reflexes. That's it. Okay, if he wants to do a shootout, well, I mean, he's fighting against the commander, who, by the way, has regeneration, so I'm not sure if that's a smart idea, but okay. We're going to, t uh, to do a new tactic here. I like to switch it up from time to time. The new tactic is going to be how to shoot out against that thing. 95% looks about right. Let's oh, hold a targeted. That was from threat assessment. Unfortunately, didn't hit it, him. I'm under fire. Okay, the wall uh, here has opened up. Which means we need to move over and we're burning, so we're hunkering down. Because the commander is the one. The commander is the one that is in the middle of the shootout. Thankfully, we got some mind control going for us. And again, thankfully, they don't know that he's mind controlled. Not yet. Moving up slowly but surely. We're definitely going to hunker down to make it almost impossible for them to hit us. Nice little reload. And let's hit this mutant here. Ooh. Mind control plus a sniper is a nasty combination. He didn't even know where, we, where it was coming from.
in the next prime a viper prime these guys we got to be a bit more careful because they can actually pull us out of cover And we're being suppressed. Okay, cool. Well, let's move over here first. And then secondly, let's open this up. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, we're now also in the open. Oh, that is very unfortunate. It's not a hundred percent kill. Not yet. Still, not everybody's here. This guy still has full cover for, for whatever reason. The grenade didn't really do what it was supposed to. can't really heal the prime. Oh, I don't want to heal the prime. We could heal the prime and just let him take care of business here. But what we could do is... We could sort of move over here. Inspire the prime. <laughs> oh, I'm having way too much fun with Inspire. Fifty-one percent. Hmm. No, no, no. All right. Let's still try it. Well, that worked out reasonably well. We got a kill right there. Air trigger free action. I think we have almost ran out of... Uh, yep, we ran out of auto loaders. So overwatch it is. Moving to here. Scanning. Another overwatch. I'm on the move. On overwatch. Scanning. Yeah, we're just going to hunker down Stay on the side on. again. Cover. And let's hope that they are actually going to advance. Nice. Long watch triggered. Uh, unfortunately, a miss. It would have been great to see this guy get shredded. Wait. Oh no, we weren't hit, so we're not getting any reaction. Is any of the Vipers brave enough to tongue lash him? Mutant Prime. How dare you? Hmm. I 
if we were to let them just come a little bit closer i think that wouldn't be the worst idea we have a super solid position to defend over here Take Hogbite, Overwatches, Got it covered. Mirror, Overwatches, Knuckles use some time to reload, and then Overwatches. Good to know, we got a fuse ready if need be. And most of us are hunkered down or do have extra forms of defense. They are moving in, but it was not successful. All right, two of the Vipers are moving in on the other side. Time for us to advance a bit more. Holy shit, that was a lot of damage. Uh, I think he's not triggering Overwatch, right? Let's see. Momentum. No, no, no. Deep focus. I thought he would not trigger Overwatch, but I might have been wrong. In which case, we're just going to do the classical vault. Which is double kills. Both of them. Fantastic. Okay. Slowly but surely, we're moving up. I mean, listen, we could also rush in a bit more, but I just... I think it is incredibly funny to play it a bit more defensive and let them uh, come in. Plus our team actually has a couple of skills where that is a valid strategy. If you know what you're doing, you can pull off those kind of uh, kill zones as well. there we go that's the type of damage we want to see i think it's a prime though it'll get actions yes no maybe game slows down i think it was a no i think it's just a boa yeah, boa. Well. Ready to engage. All right, reload, kill. Target eliminated. And I think we're down to one enemy. Moving up into full cover, nothing. All right, Knuckles follows. Do. Now is a good time to get a bit more aggressive. I can make it. Okay, Mirror moves up here, and I know there is just one more enemy that continuously overwatches, potentially 
another viper of some sort. Alright, Commander moves in. Surprisingly enough, finds nothing. That's dangerous. Am I greedy? Let's see. I think it's it's going to be fine. Yep, there we go. Still good. A bit greedy, but still good. Alright, Sniper moves up. And last but certainly not least, Mirror moves up. Okay, I think there is one more pack and if my spider senses are right, it might be kind of the Sectorport Prime pack. Good, we're moving up. Moving out. Knuckles moves a bit further to the front line and La Flame takes the last place up there. Fake Hogbite moves over. We should be more or less good to go. Good. In terms of cooldowns, yeah, we're looking absolutely fine. Moving up. Nothing happened. Very good. Okay. Moving up with the rest. Good. We're going to leave those two up there for now. Everybody else goes on Overwatch. And one more, one more pack. Commander Savatar, let's move up. Okay, nothing up there. The flame moves uh, there. Knuckles moves over there. A hey, cockbite moves that. up as well. Mirror moves over there. Let's grapple over. Moving to designated position. Ready to go. All right. Reload. Got it yeah, the next pack is uh, right over there. One more round of overwatches to see if they move. They do not seem to move. How long until the grappling hook? One more turn. Okay, we can wait that. 
Sometimes if you have the grappling hook, you... Oh, they are moving to the right-hand side. Okay, well, they are moving. Could be even just below us. <laughs> Very good, but it's not a sector port prime. It is not a sector port prime. Mutant infector, pyro, and even an Andromedon. Okay, cool. Well, I start with a good old dimensional rift. Nothing wrong with that. It's the juices flowing. All right, I'll go. And I think the best, uh, best possible course of action this turn is to give the commander an extra turn. Because what the commander can do with that nice little extra turn is, damn right, mind control the infector. Okay. How the tables have turned, right? Joke's on you guys. And that is pretty much why I wanted the grappling hook ready. Into full cover. And we're looking at a nice little shot. Look at that. Okay, well, not a hundred percent sure if we would be able to hit these guys. Well, moving over here, and then let's get a spray going. Nicely shredding the sector pot. We are going to deal with the sector port in just one second. Good time to hit and run. But that part will be the hit. And this part here is the run. So solid damage. Can't help but we need to fanfire him. Such a strong ability. Good, moving up. High ground. Let's get that py uh, pyro down. Come on. 
That's what I'm talking about. Implacable, just move a bit back. Okay, so how about we're eight protocoling over here for that extra shot? Threat assessment, and then we're overwatching. Oh, come on. Good, we're moving up. was a nice hit. I like the mutant. Pretty sure we can't keep it, but I still like it. Rolling. Good, this is an attempt to hopefully almost one-shot him. Oh yeah. And you know fake hopbite is going to say thank you for that completely unnecessary damage that he has received. Ooh, first part of Waterworld done, and it was a fun run. That leaves us with the final room, which is going to be our, um, yeah, potentially part two of this mission. I enjoyed the first part. It was harder than the normal uh, last mission, specifically since we had the fully uh, leveled up team but the existence of the commander itself plus of course all of the high level characters make even uh, that kind of interaction rather trivial we could play a bit with our food and try different strategies at no point it was really close we've taken some damage but mostly because i refuse to use any form of uh, consumables so we're going to see about how the last room plays out. So far, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the Dark Event Massacre campaign and like Waterworld in general, feel free to leave a comment and a like down below and see you in the next episode. Bye bye.